Did you know that less than 1% of people are naturally extraordinarily gifted at something? Think genius, think savant. Do you know what that means for us, the other 99 plus percent of people? If we're going to do anything great in this life, it is going to require discipline. That's the truth. If you are going to accomplish anything extraordinary with the days on this planet, it is going to require you pushing through the discomfort and embracing the grind and disciplining yourself. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up another, make another bad choice. They make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices. And they like, how do I get here? Choices. How do I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The cause of laziness is a craving for comfort. It's wanting comfort Ultimately, your problem is not laziness. It's the worship of comfort which produces laziness. It's that I don't want to do anything that I don't want to do. It's believing this lie that if it doesn't come completely natural to me, if it's not easy, then I shouldn't have to do it or maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. You have to make a choice. Either you're going to resort back to your old place and remain comfortable and miss the opportunity, or you're going to have to want it bad enough to get out of your comfort zone. You can lie to yourself and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself everything's okay and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself, you can lie to yourself and say that you're winning and then you don't need discipline. But if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth that you know you could be better, you know you could do more, if you tell yourself the truth, you won't have to find discipline. Discipline will find you. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. You can become godly through discipline. Not easy, not just because you feel like it, that sometimes you have to honor the grind. If it don't scare me, I don't want to do it. If it ain't edgy and half crazy, I'm not interested in it. But if it's something I can't pull off by myself, and I gotta stay up at night, and I gotta pray my way through it, then I'm ready to do it. Because nothing great comes without struggle. Excellence requires discomfort. There's got to be some type of discipline attached to whatever you want deliverance in. And what I'm telling you is the battle never changes. Every day, you have to get self-control. You will have to think and find creative ways to make the next move happen. Your next move is in between your ears. When your head shifts, your life is going to shift. You've got to begin to think about the things you want to materialize in your life on a regular basis and think about it repetitiously. Literally, the things that we obsess about become the things that we possess in our lives. Your mind is a weapon, and you've got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. Most people are out of control with their mind. They don't point it at something. They let the world point it, and they misfire all the time. So today, I want you to pick up that weapon that is your mind and begin to point it at the things you want. Becoming successful is a situation of developing discipline, persistence, patience, grit, character traits that you don't just get, you are not f***ing born with. It's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to f do. So often, we want to blame circumstances for the way things are. We want to blame genetics for the reason we're kind of fat. We got all these problems. But might I suggest the problem is the pattern of your response. 
But you can't change the product if you don't change the pattern. You can't change the way your career's going if you don't start changing your work ethic and your work habits and your inner relations. You can't change your wisdom unless you change your input. Just a problem is the pattern. Whatever's going on is your fault. It's your fault. Accept that, own it, and then deal with it. Every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better?